Italy's Ruggiero Tita and Caterina Bandi won all four races in the NACRA 17 multi-hull class on the fourth day of World Sailing's World Cup final in Marseille. Their outstanding day's racing means they will go into tomorrow's medal race 13 points clear of their nearest challengers at the French Port City venue that will host the sailing at the Paris 2024 Olympics. It was a very good day, too, for France's Olympic bronze medalist Pierre Lecoq, who put himself into a highly advantageous position for his medal race tomorrow in the RSX windsurfing class. After rain and cloud had affected racing on day 3, it was all systems go on day 4. The Italian pairing led from the start in two of their races and only had to overcome a couple of boats in the remaining races as they gave a master class in sailing, this is our best point of the competition so far, we won all four races and we've never done that at a World Cup series before, said Banti, we are 13 points in the lead and we are feeling confident for tomorrow, Britain's John Gimson and Anna Bernard are the Italians' nearest challengers, with second Italian pairing Vittorio Bizarro and Miel Froscari two points behind them. Lacoque took two race wins and a second place to open up an 11-point lead heading into his medal race, moving clear of his national rivals Thomas Goyard and Louis Giard, I feel great, said. Lacoque, I want to win gold, I like this venue with the technical conditions, before the medal race, Lacoque is guaranteed one as he is 24 points clear of fourth-placed Pavel Ternovsky of Poland. France's Pierre Lecoq, pictured en route to Rio 2016 bronze in the RSX windsurfing class, takes a lead into tomorrow's medal race at the Sailing World Cup in Marseille. Copyright Getty Images Goyard currently occupies second place on 28 points. With Giard on 33 and Ternovsky on 41, Lillian de Goyce of the Netherlands could not quite find her form to match the winners from three women's RSX races but she was able to maintain her overall lead. De Goyce leads Israel's Katie Spyshikov, who posted two second places and a race win, by just two points, I am feeling pretty confident but we're so close on points that anything can happen. De Goyce added, I really want to win this and I'll be sure to not make the same mistakes tomorrow, Britain's Emma Wilson occupies the final podium spot, six points off De Goyce. The men's and women's 470, Laser, Laser Radial and Fin Fleets, whose medal races will be held on Sunday, June 10, continued their opening series, sailing an additional race to catch up on races lost the day prior. Australia's Matt Belcher and Will Ryan move top in the men's 470 after two race wins in the 10th, which they discard. Germany's Malta Winkle on Mighty Cyprus are 9 points off the Australians in 2nd place. In the women's 470, Britain's Hannah Mills and Ailey McIntyre, the defending World Cup champions, extended their lead to 4 points after beating Spain's Sylvia Moss and Patricia Contero in 2 of 3 races. Aikondo and Miho Yoshioka of Japan remain in contention in 3rd. Two-time world champion Nick Thompson of Britain holds the lead in the 25-boat laser fleet with 22 points, followed by Hermann Tomasgard of Norway on 26 and Philip Wool of Germany on 28. Emma Plaschert of Belgium and Maria Erdi of Hungary continued their battle at the front of the laser radial, with the Belgian turning a one-point lead overnight into a 10-point advantage. After three more tough races in the Finn class, Jorge Zarif of Brazil and Andy Maloney of New Zealand are tied on 21 points. Turkey's Alajan Kiner trails the pair by three points in third after an outstanding day that saw him take two wins and a second. More than 220 sailors from 34 nations are involved in the competition.